Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Genesis chapters 1 and 2 from the Old Testament. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was without shape and empty, and the darkness was over the surface of the watery deep, but the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the water. God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, so God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. There was evening and there was morning, marking the first day. God said, Let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters and let it separate water from water. So God made the expanse and separated the water under the expanse from the water above it. It was so. God called the expanse sky. There was evening and there was morning a second day. God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place and let the dry ground appear. It was so. God called the dry ground land and the gathered waters he called seas. God saw that it was good. God said, let the land produce vegetation plants yielding seeds according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. It was so. The land produced vegetation, plants yielding seeds according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. God saw it was good. There was evening and there was morning a third day. God said, let there be lights in the expanse of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them be signs to indicate seasons and days and years and let them serve as lights in the expanse of the sky to give light on the earth. It was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to rule over the day and the lesser light to rule over the night. He made the stars also. God placed the lights in the expanse of the sky to shine on the earth, to preside over the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw that it was good. There was evening and there was morning, a fourth day. God said, let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the sky. God created the great sea creatures and every living and moving thing with which the water swarmed according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind. God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply and fill the water in the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth. There was evening and there was morning a fifth day. God said, let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals, each according to its kind. It was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the cattle according to their kinds, and all of the creatures that creep along the ground according to their kinds. God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image, after our likeness, so they may rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the cattle and over all the earth, and over all the creatures that move on the earth. God created humankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and every creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I now give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the entire earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food. 
and to all the animals of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to all the creatures that move on the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it. I give every green plant for food. It was so. God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. There was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. The heavens and the earth were completed with everything that was in them. By the seventh day, God finished the work that he had been doing, and he ceased on the seventh day all the work that he had been doing. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he ceased all the work that he had been doing in creation. This is the account of the heavens and the earth when they were created, when the Lord God made the earth and heavens. Now no shrub of the field had yet grown on the earth, and no plant of the field had yet sprouted. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain on the earth, and there was no man to cultivate the ground. Springs would well up from the earth and water the whole surface of the ground. The Lord God formed the man from the soil of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. The Lord God planted an orchard in the east, in Eden, and there he placed the man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow from the soil, every tree that was pleasing to look at and good for food. Now the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil were in the middle of the orchard. Now a river flows from Eden to water the orchard, and from there it divides into four head streams. The name of the first is Pishon. It runs through the entire land of Havilah, where there is gold. The gold of that land is pure. Pearls and lapis lazuli are also there. The name of the second river is Gihon. It runs through the entire land of Cush. The name of the third river is Tigris. It runs along the east side of Assyria. The fourth river is the Euphrates. The Lord God took the man and placed him in the orchard in Eden to care for it and to maintain it. Then the Lord God commanded the man, You may freely eat fruit from every tree of the orchard, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it, you will surely die. The Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make a companion for him who corresponds to him. The Lord God formed out of the ground every living animal of the field and every bird of the air. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them, and whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man named all of the animals, the birds of the air, and the living creatures of the field. But for Adam, no companion who corresponded to him was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep and while he was asleep, he took part of the man's side and closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the part he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. Then the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. This one will be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and unites with his wife, and they become a new family. The man and his wife were both naked, but they were not ashamed. God, we just want to take a moment today and just thank you. Thank you for all that you have given us. It is just amazing to think that everything we have in this world, everything that's in front of us right now, everything we can see was actually all here from the first moment that you created this world. 
everything we need you have supplied from the first moment you even thought of us. God, I just want to thank you today for everything you've given us. That through this day that we will be grateful for being alive and for having roofs over our head and clothes and food and so much more. God, thank you. Thank you for creating such a beautiful, gorgeous world for us to live in with each plant and each animal and each star a miracle unto itself. God, we just love you so much. In your son's name we pray. Amen.